These boys hope to carry on Mexico's winning tradition. The nation has won the World Cup twice in recent years, but not that World Cup. Mexico won the under-17 competition in 2005 and again in 2011. Sácalos, Cristian! Youth coach Jesus Ramirez says that triumph was a big deal for Mexico. In Mexico, the passion for soccer is widespread. Men, women, children, they all follow soccer. Ramirez now directs the prestigious Cruz Azul Academy in Mexico City. Some of the nation's best young players come to train here. The boys may be Mexican, but their dreams lie elsewhere. I want to be a professional footballer, hopefully in Europe, and to play for Real Madrid, because that's where the best players in the world are. Perhaps the boys don't talk about playing for the Mexican national team because of the team's failures. The men didn't make it past the second round of play in the past five World Cups, and they barely qualified for this year's tournament. Ramirez says the men have to want it more. Yo también considero que en México I think our mentality is what's holding us back. They're not warriors enough, not disciplined enough, not humble enough. I think that in Mexico, the player earns well, has a new car, a good life. He's not interested in fighting anymore. Most boys in Mexico City begin playing far away from the manicured lawns and the academies and places like this. There's a great source of debate and confusion on what happens to the boys when they grow up and become men. Nabani Vera is making a television documentary about Mexican football. He says there's more to the national team's failures than just money. El fútbol en todo el mundo es un negocio. Football across the world is a business. It's the same in Mexico. The problem here is it's a business that's not good. They're looking for results immediately. If you don't deliver results, they cut the coach. He says the Mexican men are also disadvantaged because they're smaller than Africans and Europeans. And they don't play well together as a unit. Mexicans haven't found their style yet. The Germans are very precise. Argentines are strong. Brazilians are smooth. Mexicans, we don't have a style. Still, hope springs eternal in Mexico. Seguro? I think the team can make the quarterfinals at the World Cup for sure. No other team besides Brazil will have as much support in the stadium as Mexico. That hopeful outlook seems to be in the minority. 12-year-old Facunda Patron answered the way most did when I asked if Mexico could do well at the World Cup. For now, more international youth victories may be as good as it gets for Mexico. Unless, of course, the men can again play like they did when they were boys.